This is the Beef Podcast, presented by Beefy yeah, Marketing. That's awesome. Boy, Welcome to the bro. Beef. We Absolutely. Are, are yeah, <laughs> that's right. Small businesses. <laughs> yeah. Absolutely. Welcome to the Beef, y'all. Uh, another episode right here in our podcast studio you've seen plenty of times, but with our nice new custom desk we had made. Uh, and I've got Lauren, Lindsay, and Alex from Doormat Decor here. Uh, Doormat Decor with an I because of the mats. We'll talk about that later, the type of mats that y'all make. Uh, another episode, another week. This time we're enjoying some beverages covered in our nice little beefy marketing koozies here. You can find, don't tell anybody this, but you can find these at beefymarketing.com forward slash store because we're actually selling all of our swag that we give out to our clients. We're selling that because it's really cool stuff. People want it. So thank y'all for joining me in the studio and being thank here. Thank you. Appreciate Thanks for having it. us. Yeah, it's going to be a fun episode. We've already had some great conversation uh, beforehand, but we always start out with an icebreaker question. So we're going to jump right into it. When you karaoke, what is your go-to karaoke song? Redneck Woman. Oh, oh. that was fast. <laughs> yeah, that yeah. was pretty The startling quick. fast, yeah. Archer Burn. <laughs> oh man yeah you threw me off now i don't know, I don't know was that, that gonna be your song no, no. but <laughs> what was the one you mentioned that beauty school dropout. yeah beauty school dropout that's yeah. the one mm-hmm. on a cruise ship too which is so yeah. fun to do karaoke yeah. on <laughs> i grew up like y'all you said you were seven right um ish give or take yeah but young I, yeah. I did the same i grew up doing karaoke and stuff like that i, I hung out with my dad at the bars and you know we would do karaoke out at there seven? And, at, well, <laughs> not that young, you know. Same. Uh, I think I was 11 or 12 when I started doing that. I think I was 12 when I had my first Jello shot. Um, not that underage drinking is good. Late we never, bloomer. you know. <laughs> yeah, late bloomer. You late to the party. Yeah. Um, and so this guy was running a karaoke show, and then that's how I kind of started in the business of DJing and, and doing karaoke it and stuff, you know. And, yeah. Uh, Drift Away by Uncle no, Cracker, the Uncle I want Cracker a sneak version. Peek of yeah. the karaoke. Of the karaoke? Yeah. Oh, my God. I can't. Yeah. Can I on sing right now on the spot? Yeah. yeah. Day after day, I'm more confused. That's beautiful. Oh. Yet I look for the light through the pouring rain. You know that's a game that I hate to lose. I don't know. It's not great. Killed wow. Yeah. It's not great. Really? But it's it's karaoke worthy, right? Didn't see that coming. I'm so nervous. I'm like, I... I'm shaking right now because I'm <laughs> yeah, just like fine. busting out with a karaoke tune right there, yeah. you know? I like the part uh, in the middle when he says, When my mind is free, you know a melody can move me. That yeah, like that. Yeah. Little, so it. good. I it's a you, great song. I thought you had that in you. Yeah. <laughs> it's not great. I didn't warm my voice uh, up. Yeah, you know, right. I don't have the music track behind me, but uh, a little impromptu karaoke <laughs> oh, session. Oh, yeah. There. You, you see it all very on. impressed. Karaoke is it's fun. And the drunker you get, the better you sound. So cheers. That's yeah, the only absolutely. time I do it. <laughs> yeah. At seven. I've never once done sober karaoke. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> never. Yeah. Yeah, that'd be rough. Yeah. First karaoke. Yeah. And, you know, you, oh. you don't have to be good. that time. You don't have to be good to do karaoke when I'm seven. You don't have to be good to do karaoke. Um, so, and, and and I don't mean this by any shame, but the drunker you are, the better other people sound too. Yeah. Oh yeah. Sometimes and it look. gets bad. Yeah. It is what you make of it. <laughs> I mean, everything's better. Yeah, yeah. Absolutely. All right. Well, I mean, the reason we're here, we want to talk about doormat decor, um, custom doormats that y'all make, as well as you have like your own line, right? That you just kind of push out with with your own designs, or is it all custom? Yeah, both. both. Yeah. Both, we do. So, we yeah. have all of our own designs, and we can customize anything anybody wants. Killer. So yeah. let's literally anything. Let's like talk your about face. where. Yeah. We yeah. can't. If <laughs> we can't do it, it, you don't need it. Yeah. <laughs> that's awesome. Let's talk about where y'all came from first, and then you know that's how we usually start off. Just the whole story behind where y'all came from, why y'all got into entrepreneurship, how you got there, and then we'll talk about the company and why y'all do what you do. So I'm going to take over at this point because <laughs> take, take otherwise it this would be a really boring podcast. <laughs> um, but and we're going to go back all the way to second grade because okay. Lauren here, first of all, this is devil twin and angel twin. And they totally live up to that. And black and white shirt. Like, oh, yes. They, and they, and yeah. passive, <laughs> aggressive. Dressed like, accordingly. Appropriate. Yeah. <laughs> they didn't even do that on purpose. Yeah. Actually. That's hilarious. <laughs> but all the way back to second grade. Lauren here, you know, when, you know, in classic, how you get the good behavior bucks mm. during the week. How and then, and then at the end of, <laughs> then at the end of the week, you get to spend your good behavior bucks that, yes. you know, at the teacher's store. So Lauren actually used to have her dad take her to Costco and get the candy in bulk. 
And then she'd take it to class and sell it to all of her classmates. And she'd be the only one that would get to go shopping on she the would Friday. Have all with the <laughs> classmates, all the classmates behavior books. She was the only one that was allowed to shop. Yes. She had a second grade monopoly yeah. <laughs> of and, candy. But the teacher called my parents because um, I got in trouble for it. And they pretended, and they were so proud. They pretended to, they pretended to be upset. And my dad was very proud. Yeah, yeah. I can only imagine. Yeah. We have had that conversation <laughs> with my my kids where it's like they did what? Yeah. Oh, my God. Yeah. He cracked like, what kind of a joke on this? Kid? Yeah. And then that's the hilarious. And we're like, oh, my God. That kid is just like me. Holy yeah. shit. That was a funny joke. Yeah. <laughs> like, that was good. Yeah. Yeah. And I also have to give a disclaimer here, whether it's some hater listening or I offend them a lot of times. I am their biggest hype man ever. So True. if I say something that sounds like I'm not hyping them up, you know, you either need to keep listening or think deeper into it because I'm just trying to make a point about <laughs> I, I mean, it's just incredible here. It's just Alex. <laughs> yeah. But so they come from a family of four, big Italian family. And their parents told each of them, we're only going to pay for four years of college. We're so, yes. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> yeah, we're going <laughs> all the way back. Second grade. Yeah, it started second grade. Well, because you just have to get a feel back. for She's the personalities. Four years. Yeah. yeah, we already did second grade. Yeah. but <laughs> So in third grade, I am. First grade in third grade. <laughs> but no, so Lindsay decides that, okay, if they're only going to pay for four, then I'm going to graduate high school early so that I can apply in January to Texas A&M because it's easier to get in there. Not the brightest. (laughs) (laughs) I'd stack all odds in my favor. And uh, No, and she did and ended up getting a degree in finance in three years and then actually got into Lamar for her MBA and finished that in a year. So she got her bachelor's and her master's in the four years that her parents would pay for Wow. Uh, I, I had to pay for I'm my victory lap. Shit. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Lauren's fifth year was. I thought they were kidding, but <laughs> they sent me the I invoice. Wasn't taking my chances. Yeah. <laughs> she also had no problem getting in, though. She uh, applies at the regular time, it gets in for nutrition sciences. It was actually molecular. Bio- what did you do? Yeah. Nutrition. No. Yeah. <laughs> I've never done anything with it, but that's what I did. Yeah. Yeah. (laughs) And she ends up getting her degree and going out to, she ends up moving to Chicago, gets into lighting and actually was, she was engaged. There was like a huge proposal and wedding planning and everything. And thankfully that didn't work out. Yeah. It didn't work (laughs) out. And she realized it. Yeah. Yeah. (laughs) Dodged a bullet there. But Lindsay actually just had to pay for two or three years of college, I guess, because she went to law school in Charlotte, North Carolina. And she ends up graduating, coming back, and gets, like, this badass internship. I mean, it's, like, dream job. It's cush. It pays well. And, of course, she was offered the job after the internship. And, you know, we're all just, like, googly eye starred over. And she's like, no, I mean, I just really don't like being told what to do. <laughs> Fair enough. <laughs> and so um, she, yeah. she didn't really know what she was going to do. And so she was just online shopping and sees these stacked books. And she was like, I'm not paying. I wouldn't pay that for that, but I can make it. And literally turned around, went and got some books at a Dollar Tree, made them, listed them, and sold them within 30 minutes. Boom, she has her first business. So and she, they started out in their garage, and then they end up getting like a little storage unit place. And um, she actually ended up blowing it up so big that she literally bought out all the books at the Dollar Trees like in the state of Texas. <laughs> From Galveston to College Station. God. <laughs> like, they were gone. We had to uh, contact manufacturers for blank books. Yeah. <laughs> That's right. In later but they news, just books, never were the same yeah. ever. Books yeah. have gone up to $3 yeah. a piece. And, yeah, my, husband, and my husband was like, you have to get out of the house. This yeah. is no, like it was taking yeah. over the house. But even before that, though, she so Lauren's up in Chicago, ends up not working out with their engagement. So Lindsay also was like, hey, I need you to come down here and help me figure out this Amazon Prime thing. And so, you know, it was perfect. They end up going into. She figures it out that night. Yeah. Right? Something I've been working on for a year. I also it's, quit my job that, that night. Is yeah. a, <laughs> it's, very, it's a very tricky thing to get on yeah. Amazon. I mean, it's. A little, I mean, it's still tricky to get on regular Amazon, but to get on Amazon Prime, then oh, it, it's yeah. a whole other world. Yeah. yeah. I mean, she's actually even gone to classes for it. It's pretty ridiculous. But that's, I mean, that's Lauren also. She can figure out any kinds of tools, grilling, cooking. Like anytime Lindsay and I want to cook something for dinner, we're like, hey, Lauren, what should we make? And how do you make it? And Lauren <laughs> will literally tell us over the phone. How do we fix this? Yeah. I mean, I'm like, Lauren, I think I just got an email. Are you going to check? Can you yeah. check this? 
Can you open my email? Yeah. Phone? <laughs> but so they blow my it up. My printer's so big. not working. <laughs> yeah. My oh, did yeah. you try every turning day. it on? The <laughs> office stopped. If Lauren's like not there, the like in something breaks of mine or Alex's. Lauren's like my there. stapler earlier jammed. <laughs> uh, we literally have to wait on Lauren. It, it was tragic. I'm like, I can't. <laughs> yeah. We can't move on here yeah. until this is We fixed. can't process any more orders. <laughs> yeah. Everybody stop what, what are you What am doing? I supposed to do? Go here? get a yeah. stapler from BP. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> I was like, here, borrow mine. I'll fix your stapler. Yeah. 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 So, um, yeah, they ended up blowing that up so big that they didn't have books to make these stacked <laughs> books anymore and sell. And so they end up getting into the doormat business. And this is about three or four years ago. And it's absolutely incredible. I was like in the corporate world coming back and forth. I would help them from time to time. Um, they're also just my best friends and a lot of fun. And I never in a million years thought that I'd quit corporate, the corporate world mm-hmm. to join them because I just never had the balls, quite frankly. Um, and but, you probably wouldn't. Have. Alex moved to Tomball. Well, how, yeah, like I also a year never... ago, Alex moved to Tomball and she was planning on just doing the house, like the housewife thing, I think, for a little bit. <laughs> and I was like, no, 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 no. Oh, you, you live about a mile from the office? You have a new job now. Yeah, it's like, you, you're hired. I'm still, I'm still trying to sign up for the housewife thing. Like, yeah, same. I was home alone for almost a week while my wife was at conference last week. And I was like, this is kind of nice. Yeah. It's yeah. like, it's yeah. not what it's cut out to be. Yeah, yeah. yeah no, I, like, I, I didn't, didn't take all that much convincing. Like, and then, yeah. and then they start, then they start putting expectations on you. Like, um, are you going to do laundry or oh, clean yeah. or anything? Yeah. Or sure. like, cook dinner? It's like, no, uh, no, no. No, I like, like, that's what Nothing has changed like. except yeah. I stay at home. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, everything's yeah. been the same exact same. We yeah. need a nanny, and I'm gonna go to brunch and play tennis. Yeah. Yeah. I said, I said I was a stay-at-home mom, not a work-at-home. Yeah, mom. yeah. There's a difference. Yeah, yeah. exactly. Yep. I told you to put the phone. I thought I did, before, uh, and it's, it was you and not one. I yeah, I know. I, I did. Just did it. But yeah. I only did it because I wanted to get the photo out to show y'all. Wait, it is on silent. Of the oh, nope. I had my phone upside down. So oh, yeah. we we transitioned into. The doormats after that. Oh, <laughs> there it is. <laughs> <laughs> Little display here. This is real size. <laughs> so our Just our kidding. listeners. Actual size. No, actually, some people do buy the size for their pets. And oh, houses. that's a great idea. Yeah. A great, yeah. This is our example, but people really, we've actually made smaller ones. Somebody wanted so a keychain one time. Yeah. If you're yeah. listening right now and you're not watching on YouTube, you're making a big mistake. Because on the table, we've got an example of what they have. So switch over to YouTube. Check that link out. See what we have here, but yeah, tell us all about it. What am I looking at? A so this is why it's called. <laughs> this brown stuff here is actual core. That's where the I comes from. Okay. The C O I R core material. I'm gonna let y'all go into your. They came up with a proprietary process of making them with adhesive and flock fibers. But I mean, the cool thing is the difference is. You know, if you're in Target or Walmart or Lowe's, it's painted on. Right. This is where, like, you can actually see the. Yeah, that's it. I mean, that that's yeah, really what sets us apart race. is the yeah. fact that we don't paint any of our doormats. We we have this proprietary adhesive that we apply um, through like a screen printing process, but even that's a little bit different than your typical screen printing. Yeah. Right. Than you would expect, but um, and then so we apply the adhesive, and then we use this electromagnetic machine to. Um, apply the flock to it and so it gives it like a nice raised really fuzzy feeling and flock is really just if you like in your glove box in your car like that little fuzzy stuff that's in there if you feel or it, like inside of a jewelry box or inside right. of a jewelry box that like that fuzzy that's that's really flock it's shorter than what we yeah. use like ours is much more that like what you see what you but. see in like a jewelry box or in a glove box or whatever is like one millimeter and we get like to, we get like three and four millimeters so that it gives it like the extra flop. Yeah. Gotcha. And then even the color, they have color flop. Yeah. Also. Yeah. Lots of colors, not just green and black. And this process <laughs> took um, a ton of. There's we, no handbook you, on how to do this. Yeah. <laughs> like there's no. We, we pretty much invent, we in, or invented figured our it out. own process. Yeah. Like invented our own process through a lot of YouTubing and a lot of trial and error. Yeah. yeah a lot of trial and error. And it's cool Less because you do even more trial and error. Yeah. yeah, and they're probably, I guess there aren't many people out there that can do the custom cut. So literally any size, you know, they have their standard sizes, but some people are very particular. Like they want a small one for their dollhouse or their pet or their, it's even getting popular where people just want them on their steps. 
And people want some vulgar stuff too. Yeah, we'll, we'll do yeah. it, and yeah. we'll actually love it whenever that happens. And too, yeah, because, yeah, we do. I mean, well, the problem is Lindsay. Stuff. Lindsay will tell Lindsay tells customers that we can do anything. Well, so I then I never so turned that. down a good deal. Yeah, so then which we can <laughs> which we can do anything, but the problem is she will accept any order and then. Be like, hey, yeah. Lauren, by the way, we have to do this one. There's 17 colors. Yeah. And it's in the shape of a hippopotamus. Yes. Yeah, so I'm not sure what you're planning on doing today. Yeah. But. <laughs> yeah, no. There's and sometimes like, that I won't it. even tell. I'll yeah. call Lauren over <laughs> instead of Lindsay to be like, hey, do we want to do this? Because I'm thinking no. If, yeah. I, if I tell Lindsay, she's like, yeah, write it up. Yeah. <laughs> and I, I mean, she doesn't care. She'll blow it up. Like, I don't care if I have to go buy out. Dollar Tree yeah. or Walmart. Yeah. Like, I've done it before. And then so. Lauren and I are like dying of anxiety. Yeah. Over I'm it. like, yes. well, that's going to take about six days, but sure, let's do it. <laughs> yeah. yeah, I understand that. Being from a sales background, that's that's how we are here. Yeah. Andrew's like, man, we're limited. Like, there's certain people I don't want to work with. There's certain jobs we can't do or we don't want to do or we can, but we're not that great at. Like, let's focus on this. I'm like, we'll figure it out. Yeah. yeah. We'll figure it out. Like, Me let's too. Make it happen. You know? Yeah. But, I'm like, if someone else could do it, I could do it. Yeah. <laughs> like, yeah. I will I will do this. <laughs> I understand that completely. Yeah. Yeah. And she's not giving money back. Well, what either. she means is she'll <laughs> make Lauren do it. Yeah. Yep. By me, I mean, yeah. Lauren, yeah. Lauren can figure it out. Yeah. Uh, yeah I'm not, it's not I'll figure it out, but yeah. I know Lauren can figure anything yeah. out. That's the, that's the Lauren whole, will figure out exactly how to We? Do it. Are you French? Or yeah. Do you have a mouse? Yeah. We got a mouse. Like, what do you mean we? Yeah. 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 But I understand that. No. my mouse. Yeah. So I've seen some really cool designs that y'all have had in house. I mean, y'all have a really awesome shop in in Tomball. I don't know. Y'all do like tours of your shop and stuff if a customer wants to come by. If you want to come by, sure. Yeah, it's very it's dirty. A, you better yeah, wear your bad it's, it's such a cool place to see, and there's like yeah. so many spots to take pictures, and you got the grass wall in there, and like it's a it should be a tourist stop. Like you got to come check it out. Like, the office is, is cute till you get to the warehouse, yeah, and then you realize yeah. and then that. You're like, we it's a very dirty job to yes. make these dorms. Yeah, and don't come if you don't which like I, dogs. Which is really why like I do <laughs> like people <laughs> coming to see it. I don't think a lot of people realize what the amount of work and manual labor and yeah. sweat and yes. you know everybody out there. It's an oven. First of all, it's what month are we in? What year are we in? Oh, <laughs> June. Yeah, June. Yes. It's so yeah. hot, and so and we call it the oven right now. But uh, even in the winter, it's cold. It's hot. We yep. don't. There's only a fan out there. Yeah. <laughs> well, and like painted doormats, for example, is like basically a two-step process, maybe three if you count the template. But like with the flocking, with our process, it's like at least 15 steps just to make one doormat. Yeah. I mean, we've got it down to an art now, but but it's not. I think some people think it's just yeah. Like, send it through a printer. Right. Yeah. You know. That's the big thing because yeah. I mean I'm not gonna lie like I, I there's some doormats that I want to get you know and I want to have y'all make it and I look at the website and I'm like well this isn't a uh, twenty dollar Target <laughs> yeah actual, yeah. <laughs> yeah uh you know it, I don't want to say it's expensive because it's but not. you get what it's, you pay for yeah for sure correctly. yeah yeah. yeah, it's priced correctly. Yeah. So expect that when they yeah. say 15 step process and this takes a lot, it's <laughs> yeah. hot and, yeah. you know, and it's quality. Too. Yeah, That's it's quality, lasts longer, made right here in Tomball, yeah. Texas. Yep. And since most people haven't heard of or seen a flock doormat, they we get the question all the time, like, why, you know, why would I pay that what's price? For, yeah, what what's the I difference? Getting? And as soon as they like receive it, they're blown like away. mind blown. They're blown yeah. Away. Yeah. yeah. That's the big thing, especially with this podcast. That's kind of the whole point is why should I go to your business? You know, and that's what we kind of strive for. And I because think all those points so. are. Yeah. yeah, right. Yeah, yeah. Because we're too. awesome. Yeah. Uh, yeah. yeah. Well, Do and it. I mean, people are going to start judging you if you don't have a cute doormat. Either. Yeah. I mean, yeah. There's absolutely true. no excuse. Yeah. Yeah. yeah I think if you have I saw a door, that. you need a doormat. Yeah. It's funny and how a much. Cute one. It's funny how much, if you'd asked me 10 years ago that I'd, I'd be making doormats right now, I would have you know, laugh, but it's funny how much I notice other people's doormats now. Oh, yeah, oh, I'm like, absolutely. I'm like, hey, we just met, but you need a new doormat. Yeah, yeah. That thing's I'm filthy. Up, <laughs> we're like, I didn't see you as a home sweet home kind yeah. of gal. But. Yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> okay, okay. Basic. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> Live, laugh, love. Yeah. yeah. Nobody yeah. cares. <laughs> yeah. Boring. Yeah. <laughs> no, I'm, I'm definitely interested in getting one of the custom. I think, you know, I don't know, maybe if you got kids listening, cover their ears here, but. Uh, there was one, it's a lyric to a song, a little vulgar. Oh, yeah. I know. Hey, uh, motherfucker. Hey, motherfucker. Oh, yeah. Hey, yeah, yeah, that one. Yeah. I think <laughs> I want to get that one. I love it. Yeah. So if I come in and Real I want something. Real hot seller right now. Yeah. I bet. If I want something custom like that, how does the pricing structure work? Is it going to be a different price or do I need to order 12 of them? 
or do y'all do one-offs and oh yeah we do one-offs yeah change? orders so it's actually a pretty simple price structure we have like our stock designs which is like you don't make any changes to it it's something we like keep on the shelf basically sure. and then we have our custom pricing that's you send us your idea your picture your image your thought process whatever and we'll come up with the design send you proofs all that and then um and also by size but then other than that it's just if you want to add color or whatever but and we do proofs digital proofs and you can go back and forth make as many changes as you want yeah gotcha. like I, I got yeah. one like they actually <laughs> we were but artists. some people yeah. some people take full advantage of that yeah, yeah. well and yeah Weeks it's crazy of some of the things like i swear some people because we have groupies that like love it and come back <laughs> yeah. and they try, they come up with more and more difficult things to yeah. do and like the there most was challenge we the most amazing artists the like, most I don't, yeah. I don't know how we got so lucky to have him but he yeah and it i didn't even hire him as an artist no he, we didn't know he could draw he was working in the warehouse and all of a sudden uh, he he like mentioned something about drawing and I was like I think he I think he or may have he drawn probably graffiti had on drew. the warehouse yeah. wall. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. 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 No, and I was like, well, holy shit, I didn't realize that you could. and then and so now um he does like all of our drawing and it's insane. He literally does it's like people's good. pets, they'll send oh, the pets cool. yeah. their families. Like so, some people do funny jokes with their face, like an ugly picture of you, like eh. <laughs> we can oh, put it on awesome. a doormat. It's yeah. cool. Yeah, so people will just like send pictures of like their anything. pets and people then he'll draw, he'll sketch it up and we put it on a doormat. Like they did one with <laughs> m- uh, my husband and I and it was like me with my sunglasses on and our Pomeranian in the warehouse. And so I got to go back and forth like, okay, well, I need my hair higher, my boobs to be bigger. <laughs> yeah. Can you make my diamond on my hand bigger? <laughs> oh, okay, and Lindsay was like, okay. I'm going to need... Like, Plastic surgery in a draw. Yeah, yeah. Do that, yeah, that would be great. You draw me how I so already brought a doormat to her plastic surgeon. Yeah. Yeah. Whoa, that is not how I perceive myself. Yeah. <laughs> where did like, where I, did you come up with me looking like yeah. this? Uh, the picture you sent in. That picture is bullshit. Really did he have? even use the picture to draw that? <laughs> That's great. Um, so what are we talking on on price range? Like where do you start and where do you end? If you know the most crazy thing that I want to get all the way down to, uh, just we can literally stuff. make a doormat up to eighty feet, eight yeah. zero eighty. God, feet. okay. So I mean, Technic- the pricing, yeah. and that's definitely going to be around a thousand. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. No, we and we do like our smallest, our I guess our our standard size is. Um, I mean, if you get like a like small, 30. like I mean, if you go down to uh, like what we were showing earlier, like how people do, yeah. Like, so that's probably like a twelve inch by twenty four inch. Yeah, on that I mean, when you got this there. is like you know between thirty and fifty dollars depending okay. on so you know. Is the, and this yeah, is, it's about like yeah. This I mean, would go our, in front of like a doghouse, yeah, or, something. or a dollhouse. People, I mean, not dollhouse, a playhouse. People yeah. order for like their kids' dollhouse. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, most people are paying under a hundred. Okay. Yeah. And that's oh, yeah. Very, I would say that's anywhere from like a dollhouse would, size to the standard eighteen by thirty, and then if you want some more um, than your standard, then there's a twenty-four yeah, by yeah. thirty-six. And as long as you're just doing something like your family name, you're not getting crazy. It's going right. to be under hundred. Yeah. It'll be around okay. Sixty no, to eighty. Ninety percent of our orders are yeah. probably between fifty and two fifty. Okay. Fair but enough. you know, so and but we've had. I mean, people have ordered like the nine order foot by twelve foot doormats, which I always Google the address that it's shipping to because I'm like, where? What yeah. does this house well, look yeah. like? <laughs> well, we also didn't realize how, how many ranches there yeah. are in the world. Yeah, like, people yes. with ranches send orders of like twenty five doormats, so they'll get like the big ones for double doors, and then for every yeah. little campsite, yeah. and they're it's so cute crazy. Too. Yeah, they love it. So I seem yeah. to know what. Like, how, how do I get into that business? You know, where I can afford Good to buy luck. 25. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Oh, that like, business. Oh, yeah. No, afford. your business. I thought you meant ours. I was like, no, Good luck. I, yeah. No, it looks fun. Like, as yeah. far as, you know, from the, the outside. Office, yeah. Yeah, from the outside, <laughs> yeah. I don't want to know how to do it. Yeah. Uh, I yeah. would gladly give you $200 yeah. <laughs> yeah. to Ignorance buy one. Bliss, yeah. For sure, it. whatever you're starting out in this. How about we'll, uh, we'll come up with a design for you and you can come make your own doormat. We'll Bingo. walk you through the process. Yeah. You know what? I mean, that would be a cool yeah, idea. For, yeah, It'd yeah. be great content you for y'all. And then yeah. you can make it yourself. Yeah. You're like, I'll pay you. I'll pay you not to do that again. Uh, <laughs> I'll send my wife over. She can <laughs> yeah. learn how to do this. She's a crafty person. Yeah. You, know? uh, <laughs> you can just do the That's commentary. actually how Alex started working for us. <laughs> I started out power walking, yeah. okay? Oh, and man. I loved it. It was very zen. That yeah. actually is probably yeah. one of my favorite warehouse jobs. 
power well, because it's not like, if you ask the power washer though. Yeah. <laughs> but it's like the TikTok videos you watch of people either pressure washing or doing other things like cutting and stuff where it's like so soothing. Yeah, it's yeah. very sad. Because you're like, oh my, yeah. oh, I just got all the bitter off of one spray. Like, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Um, yeah. Also, I'm like, yeah. Check this out. Yeah. 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 You're yeah. good as up at it. Yeah. You're like, oh yeah. yeah. I don't know why, but it always feels so good. Yeah. We if do you that could forget about the hand cramping. Well, imagine just. Doing that to a thousand screens <laughs> yeah, a day. Yeah, if you're not doing that a thousand times, you'd yeah. be in heaven. <laughs> yeah. I don't know. At that point, I think it becomes less of a hobby, more of a job. Yeah. It's not you, it's yeah. me. Yeah. I just, you know. I get it. Well, you're more than welcome. <laughs> there are a lot of things in life that, especially Andrew and I, man, we look at it, and John Fritching is good about this too. It's like, well, I think we could do that. I don't think we need to buy it, you know, similar to how everything oh, started. How it's we like, think. why would I pay that much for it when I can do it myself? But mm-hmm. this is one of those jobs that it's like. Speaking, mm, you say oh, that. No, both of you do that. You say uh, no, Lauren. The, you two are the worst. Yeah. At that. <laughs> Lauren just it, she's redoing her entire guest bathroom right now. Uh, the plumbing by herself. She re, uh, pulled up all the flooring. <laughs> pulled up the bathtub. <laughs> so, I'm there are Lauren can do it all. There are some projects though where afterwards you're like, I probably should just be a plumber. Yeah, but now you know how to do it too. Yeah, yeah. I really yeah. sucked so. at telling y'all story this time because yeah, she's like a handyman. It's crazy. Yeah. But it, it happens though, because you're like plumber, twelve hundred bucks. Yeah. I did it myself, fifteen hundred dollars in parts and tools. <laughs> yeah. Ten exactly. hours of labor. Yeah. Hell yeah. But yeah. next time I, I can do it myself. Yeah. But that's the thing. Way well, yeah. more than ten hours yeah. of labor. It's next like, time well, it would yeah, cost me weekends. And yeah. I, I, lots, I may get it now, but there's <laughs> but lots of tears. Yeah. That's the crappy part. Is it's like, well, next time. I'm only going to have $600 in parts because yeah. I already yeah. got the, uh, <laughs> yeah, that's true. I got the spare tools. parts. Yeah. I got the tools now. I guess you're going to have to make a whole yeah. new well, the worst. She'll one guess. <laughs> that's yeah. the worst part. Next time I'm paying somebody, that's how yeah. it works. Over no, the worst part house. is like, I thought I like knew what I was doing and I like put it all together and I had to like, obviously turn off the water to my entire house. And I was like staring at it. I was like so proud of it. It looked perfect. And I was like, okay, I'm going to go turn on the water and test it. Turn on the water and it's just spraying everywhere. <laughs> See, and this is why like I don't flooded do my own stuff. the guest bathroom. Because <laughs> I have all the tools for it, you know. Like right now, oh, we yeah. want to do on the walls. You know how people do the designs with the wood that makes oh, yeah. X's and oh, squares yeah. and stuff. And yeah. it's like I've got everything I need, yeah. everything I need to make those. I'm not except the do energy. It. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. I'm not doing that. Not I'll you pay somebody. What, you know yeah. what went smoothly though is they did come up with a process to recycle water to oh, become yeah. more. Oh, yeah, we're green. We, we are green. Yeah. Yeah. Decor went green. That was incredible. Okay. I mean, we were going and talking to welders that were like, this is going to be expensive, what you girls are wanting. Like, everybody told us it was going to be so expensive. She goes and finds, like, these big plastic <laughs> bins that were a fraction of the price of what they were yeah. telling us. Like holding tanks. Cut a we, hole yep. in it. Cut them in half. Put a drain. I, like, I don't even know what all she did, but it worked. She came well, in and she like, was like, well, we gonna, got it. Yeah. Why are we going to pay 15000 for a custom one when I know something like that exists somewhere? Yeah, already. For cheaper. Right. Yeah. Well, no, nothing existed, but you made it. Well, that's true. Yeah, that is. It, nothing Good existed. Point. But we're yeah. like... <laughs> I well, mean, we we're could find something we could use and <laughs> create exactly what we need. But we're power washing, you know, ten hours a day, oh, and it's God. a lot of yeah. To be honest, I don't think that we would still be using it this long. And I, I didn't yeah, tell them. Yeah, I but I questioned are. myself honestly, but but now <laughs> instead of just power washing aimlessly, we power wash into like a bin that catches it and filters it and recycles the water. That's so smart. The, so yeah. the city of Tumbo is listening. Yeah. All clean water we're just for you. We're Tumble. green. Just for you. City of environmentally Tumble. friendly. Yeah. Everything we use environmentally the hometown friendly. with the heart. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Just there for you. you. Go. <laughs> so um, shopping, is it? Is this somewhere I can come and see what you have in person or is it online shopping only? Well, uh, we don't exactly have a showroom, but right. you're welcome to pop in and we can. Yeah. I mean, somebody's there pretty much. All yeah. The time. And I mean, we have people that pop in and we'll even like work with their work up their proof right there on the computer with them in the office. But no, we don't have like a like storefront or like. Let's uh, be honest. Right. We really would like you to not pop in on us. We'd like to keep it online. Yeah, it really interrupts over. our entire we might day. Get, <laughs> there might come a day that, yeah, come on in and we'll have some stock ones. But I mean, they're all made to order. I have no right. desire. Like even when we say stock, it's basically it's our it means that we don't have to punch Start out a new scratch. screen. Yeah. Yeah. yeah absolutely. It means that we just have to pull yeah. the screen. They're still not sitting it. on a shelf. Everything's still made to order. Yeah. It's sure. Just, right. But the template is already made. Yeah. So we that's the big thing. Sometimes. I, I think with it too is you don't have to necessarily if you can see the design online, especially if it's a picture or something, you get the idea. Yeah. You yeah. You but would I think. know some people, me in particular, man, I tried that Amazon Prime try before you buy. Oh yeah. And 
I like that because I can actually have it in hand, know what it looks like, and not pay for it unless I want to keep it. Yeah, well, we're never going to do that. Of I course. <laughs> It's easier. It's yeah. easier yeah. for me when I, yeah. I've already been there. I've seen what y'all have, so I know what I'm getting. I know yeah. what I'm ordering from you. So when I order online, that's easy. Yeah. Now I just need to see the design, just the yeah. picture of it. Yeah. But it bugs me. Like if I had never seen your stuff before, I'm like, well, I kind of want to see what I'm buying. Yeah. Especially when you're, it, it's an investment, you know, rightfully yeah. so. Yeah. And so it's like if I'm paying eighty bucks or hundred bucks for a doormat, I want to know what it's yeah. gonna look like, yeah. feel like, the whole nine. That's yeah. what reviews are for, and we for have sure. a ton of five star ones. Yeah. 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 Oh, I can see why. I mean. Yeah. It's and, and you can actually see what people do with them and how they decorate. Like another thing that they also, I and I think they actually created it. They probably wouldn't tell you that, but they have these super cute cotton layering rugs that actually go under the doormats. And so you get to see all the, like, everybody's entryways. Yeah. We do um, love review photos. Yeah, and they'll tell them, like, how great our customer service is because we're super fun to go back and forth with. Yep. And yeah. Yeah. Oh, yeah. I mean, I'm not a customer yet, but I can attest to it. All I, I did was you, you mention You don't want to do it out with Alex or I. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Lauren fires us from customer service, like, every day. Yeah. yeah. I like, have to, like, talk them off the ledge. Yeah. yeah. I'm like, oh, you are you going to do it? She's like, never mind. You're rehired. <laughs> I'm like, you can't say that to a customer. Yeah. Like, oh, but sometimes you just want to. Yeah. Oh, man. They're the worst every yes. day. I mean, it makes me. They're the worst I'm, I'm so, and the best. Like, yeah. yeah. Oh, yeah. Yep. The, that's the thing is it takes like. They can make them break. Or, yeah. Make or yeah. Break they, your day. they make or break your day. Absolutely. It's crazy, though. But <laughs> yeah. it's really, it's crazy, though. How many break your day? <laughs> yeah. Or the, in especially the ones that like just come out of nowhere and make your day. Yeah. I feel like that. I didn't even treat. see that coming. Yeah. 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 All right. So online shopping, where do I do that at? Uh, doormatdecor.com spelled with an I but if you spell it wrong you'll still get there yeah that's good some D-E-C-O-I-R. people are lost D-E-C-O-I-R or how you spell regular decor yeah. D-E-C-O-R right so I don't have to explain to people we just yeah. went and, and did both and for those that can't spell doormat D-O-R-N-A-T <laughs> <laughs> hey you know hey, what actually, you never you know you'd be surprised some people fifth grade I, get, I actually get doormat with two T's all the time in emails Fifth grade, oh, I, I went out that. in yeah. the first round of the that. spelling bee. Yeah. Really? First doormat. round of the spelling bee, not doormat. Oh. It was what? woman. <gasps> I spelled women and realized immediately, as soon as I said the E, I knew. I was like, oh, crap. No, they said woman. Yeah. But you can't correct yourself. Well, yeah. and who wants just one? First just round. <laughs> <laughs> so look, yeah, you were already thinking it's like yeah. a man. Look, <laughs> look, like I told my wife, I can't handle two women in my life. So one is yeah, enough. Yeah. I'm like, you, you don't. You no. actually should refer back to that, to, to that event. <laughs> yeah. and be like, okay, listen. I already I knew. Word woman, I was I knocked out on the word lengthwise. I left out the yeah. G. And that mine was honeycomb. Yeah. What? See, I'm everybody. I, I didn't see. That was Seven really a traumatic grade. experience. We didn't learn about silent Bs yet, like honeycomb. Yeah. And if it makes you feel any better, I lost. I spelled phrase with an F. That's oh, nice. Ooh, that's the word. Already it makes learned, so much sense. Yeah. All right, well, that, you though. won that. <laughs> yeah. We already learned that's that. That's definitely the word. <laughs> so a second little icebreaker question I think that was reasonable. Yeah. Phrase. That is a great that's icebreaker it. question. Oh, man. <laughs> um, all right, so doormat decor spelled correctly and incorrectly at the same time. Yes. Yeah. Uh, either way, you can get there. Yeah, and you'll then, find us. Um, obviously, then they're shipping. So um, you can get shipped right to you. But can you do local pickup and save on the shipping costs? Sure. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. So we do yeah. do that all the time. We're okay yeah. with that. Perfect. Yeah. We love that. And we have Instagram too for ideas. Doormat underscore decor. Same way. D E C O I R. Whoa. Yeah. yeah. And we're actually offering free shipping right now. So local pickup saves oh, there you us go. money. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> we, lo- we love it. Yeah. Want to Help pick us up out. Lovely. Yeah. <laughs> and we have a pride discount for Pride Month and awesome. Father's Day. Yep. Okay, Father's Day. See, my wife's listening right now. Yeah, yeah. Father's Day. <laughs> Here you go. <laughs> Give me that that doormat. We'll, we'll put his one. face on a doormat. Yeah. Yes. <laughs> yeah. No, we're really gonna do that. Yeah. All right, I'm down. I'm in. I'll figure it out. I'll just have to come dressed comfortably. Yeah. Because it's hot. Oh no, we'll find your best photo on Facebook or something. Yeah. Oh, we'll Lord. pick the photo. We'll pick the photo. <laughs> There's actually a funny one that plays on the screen in our office here. Um, Perfect. They were just like, I don't know, they were doing something. I was being goofy and I like looked over my computer and made this really goofy face. And then I show up and Kara plastered it on the front. Oh my gosh, that'd be cute actually. In. Like it's a funny. little um, monitor and then half your face on a doormat. Oh yeah, that would be cool. Yeah. We need to do here. I'd been talking about getting a custom doormat up here as well. 
And uh, I'm going to try this new tagline out for the podcast at the end of it that says, stay beefy, my friends. I love and that. I was like, bro, if we yeah. did a stay beefy, my friends oh, yeah. up front. That'd we'll be even cool. do a new sign off this podcast. Whatever we, you know, stay beefy, stay beefy, stay beefy, stay beefy my beef. friends. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> You've got beef. <laughs> <laughs> got We've got beef, beef with yeah, you. Got yeah. Beef. Yeah. Got beef. Got beef. So Facebook, Instagram, are y'all on all, all the, social? the above? Okay. Yeah. Perfect. So we can just stalk search us anywhere. Yeah. And then, yeah. You can pretty yeah. much stalk us anywhere you'd like. Except. Which. We all enjoy being stalked when it's on social media for yeah. business. Yeah. No, yeah. Not in real life, though. Not in real life, but not for real business. Life. I don't know. I love a good stalking. Yeah, I mean, as long as it's <laughs> yeah, I love a good real life. Yeah. It keeps things interesting. I think it's flattering. <laughs> yeah. I, don't think I so love paparazzi. So yeah. I'm honored. Wait, wait. Honestly. You, yeah. you were trying yeah. to peek yeah. into you my cho- window tonight? You that was me. you in the bushes? You chose me out of the whole neighborhood? Bro, come in. What are you yeah, doing? I'm like, Come say hi. Yeah. You have to be steaming off. Yeah. You never know. Yeah. And that's how I met your mother. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. See? Yeah. Sometimes it just works out. Oh, man. You all right. You know. And then reviews, of course. If you buy a doormat, leave we a review. Reviews. Those are all good ways to support you. I say it on pretty much every show. I'm like, yeah, how yeah. can we support you? And people are like, give us money. We yeah. love reviews and tags, like social media tags with pictures. We love pictures. And yeah. we offer a discount code if you do tag us with a picture. Yeah. Mm. We love groupies. So yeah. it's $10 off your next order if you post a photo yeah. of your... That's good. It's nice. Cute, really cute. Yeah. Mm-hmm. There you go. And we're going to be getting a loyalty program. Yeah. Okay. So, so we do a lot our, of our, mostly for our real estate Yeah, agents. a lot of our customers, well, one, people learn real quick after shopping with doormat decor <laughs> that it's the perfect <laughs> gift for any occasion. Perfect. <laughs> but, <Boom, we've, plug. laughs> yeah. but we really do have a lot of repeat customers in general because it's like the perfect wedding gift, the perfect you know, yeah, perfect whatever. Gift. Perfect gift. But we also have a ton of real estate customers that they buy like, for every closing, yeah. every, you know. They have like welcomed your future home for yeah. like their open houses. Their open houses, their yeah. closing gifts. So we're coming up with a loyalty program for yeah. all of our loyal repeat customers yeah. that we just adore. I mean, if you've got repeat customers, then yeah. it means you're doing something right. So yeah. true. Yeah. It's you're a right. really cool thing to see. Yeah, sure. we and we it. have a lot of them too because it's hard to educate them on what a flop doormat means, and so it really takes until they get it for them to be like, "Holy crap! This holy is, cannoli! Holy yeah. cannoli! <laughs> holy mackerel! This is exactly yeah. what I wanted!" And it really is just the easiest. And then they come back, and then we just have our little doormat decor groupies that they just love them. Yeah, and All right. grandparents. So if you have like a wedding oh, or yeah. anything coming up, if you don't know what to don't get your think, grandparents, look at no further. Time, yeah, it's like. There's no place like GG because like seriously, yeah. what, what do you get your house? what do you get your grandparents? I yeah. mean, even if they're not here anymore, let's not get dark. <laughs> yeah. I mean, usually we wind up getting my grandmother something like pictures of the kids or you know, but frame nice. super like, lame, like yeah. canvas. Yeah, like we got her big canvas prints and stuff, and she tells me she loves it, but she's probably lying just because yeah, she loves it. Yeah, she probably doesn't so. even have any more room on her. Yeah, she dresser. probably is like with all her other tchotchkes. Where, that she has up there. where did I go wrong in life? Where I just get pictures. <laughs> yeah, of, like, kids I did everything I could for this kid. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Our our grandparents' door up with go nuts around Christmas time. Yeah, yeah. I bet. Yeah, no, that's a really cool gift idea, and especially if you want to get something for a newlywed couple that's your friend yeah. and, you know you want to kind of mess with them or something you can do something funny yeah or I know, heartfelt that's my thing, or like, yeah i don't even like to go i mean i i mean like, everything is cute but it's it, having a doormat is cute in general but yeah. to like throw out some hu- like just having humor involved with your home there's nothing like that for me. absolutely that sets the tone when you yeah come in it here. really does set the tone of like your own personality of right. like whenever you walk into someone else's house yep like, i it, can't stand though some people like it's not the right tone, you know? Like, no. please remove your shoes. Oh, yeah. It's like, whoa. It's Actually, like, it may be the accurate tone, but it's just not the... It's just like, yeah. these are super cute shoes. I mean, we love those sales as well. Yeah, but. yeah we do. Yeah, <laughs> no, we do. Anything, we'll wait, make them. But we also yeah. have ones that say, cute shoes, right. remove them. Yeah. yeah. That's the way to go, you know? Or did you text first? Some people are not very welcoming yes. at all. Some people are like welcome-ish, or did you text first, or go away? Yep. Some say fuck off. Yeah. Yeah. Mine would be something like ring the doorbell to sell me something and you die. Yeah. No, I've got a have, baby in the house. Yeah, people talk about yeah. burying bodies. I mean, <laughs> yeah. We're yeah, here for it's it. Like, yeah. We're here for it. Just 
think long and hard about the tone that you're setting. Yeah, I mean, I have like a million dogs. And mine says, ring the bell when a dog. Yeah. <laughs> like, it's just, it's I, every, like, it can match your own personality and lifestyle, too. It's just hilarious. Yeah, no, I'm, I'm exactly that way. Because, like, I respect the hustle of sales. I do it for a living, so I get it. But at the same time, I'm like, my kid's asleep. And yeah. it's eight o'clock at night. <laughs> yeah. And, oh yeah. And yeah. Especially when we used to have dogs way back in the day, and it's like if my dogs bark and wake up my kids, yeah. just I, my That's doormat would need to say like, "Who do you want me to invite to the funeral?" Yeah. yeah. Because yeah, it's over. I'm mad. I'm but. Telling, I was just telling Alex that the other day. Yeah, they can be informative or funny. Her, her dogs right. like to bark a lot. <laughs> oh well thanks Lindsay. thankfully i'm drinking non-alcoholic yeah. <laughs> well, i was hoping that wasn't going to come up <laughs> my mom were you drinking beer yeah. <laughs> yes yeah, start them out young yeah. and her dogs and her dogs just like to chirp chirp and i was yes. like you're about to have a situation on your hands if you it is a real thing it is yeah. such a real thing oh my god uh one of the big trends i've seen on tiktok and reels and all that is kind of like the questions about you know a friend's episode in a situation or something where like when you're making a delivery and it's like we're I think the one I saw said we're Rachel and who was it who did somebody was on a break I'm not a big friends fan I'm not either oh, Ross. Ross. Rachel Ross. And Ross. oh we, were on, we were on a break yeah yes and so a friend of mine was like she posted a picture of a doormat and she actually owns a business here in Tomball and everything and she was like Hey, does anybody know where I can get this doormat? And I was like, doormat decor, ding, ding, ding. duh. Oh, yeah. Yeah. And, uh, so yeah. I saw this doormat, and that's what it says. Like, we're Rachel and Ross on a break. And then it's like, deliver the package on the side that you agree with yes or no. Oh, that's funny. Oh, that's so yeah, cute. I haven't yeah. seen that so I don't know before. if you'll have anything like that, but well, hopefully about, I'll send yeah, the customer now. that way. We're yeah. about to, yeah. I haven't seen that. We've pretty much seen them all, but I haven't seen that yeah. one. <laughs> I've seen some pretty funny ones that way. Uh, Tiger King was a big one. Oh. You know, like. I, that's, to this day, probably our number one selling doormat ever in the history of doormats on, of the whole world i do hold on was, let, me, let me tell you what happened was it that bitch carol baskin yes that hold on i invent, we invented the whole quote like let me let me tell you that no we didn't yes we did remember we were lauren let me take you i don't back. think we did yeah. <laughs> no we didn't invent the uh welcome to, or we Okay, let to me. Every, oh, let me go, I know what you're talking about. Let me go back for a second. Okay, so I'm obsessed. I'm obsessed with documentaries. I know, I'm sorry. But people are going to be like, no, I'm they didn't. <laughs> like, I saw Tiger King before Tiger King was a thing. Yep. Like, I, and I, when Lauren and I were just like driving somewhere one day, and I was like, Lauren, I just saw the craziest freaking documentary. <laughs> that you, like, you have to watch it. I'm like, it was so nuts. I was explaining it to her. And I was like, it, this is gonna, this is about to blow up. Everyone's about to be watching it. I wasn't even thinking doormats yeah. at the time. Like, I was just explaining to her, like, this crazy documentary. Hadn't even heard of it. I just randomly ran across it. Like, it didn't even have, like, well, a. Well, first of all, she's ne- there's not a documentary in the world she hasn't yeah, seen. Yeah, that I haven't seen. <laughs> but yeah. it's not even like they, uh, what do you call it? They promote, like, they didn't, what do you call it? Advertise. Yeah, they didn't advertise for it. Yeah, they, didn't, or, advertise yeah, for it before, there, yeah, they yeah. didn't advertise for it or anything. Like, I just ran across it. Yeah. And Lauren was like, this is like back whenever the meme uh, hello to hello, yeah hello to everyone when you except, see like those memes or in accounting or whatever yeah it is. when you see those memes that's like every good morning to everyone yeah good morning, yeah my neighbor with the rooster or so i was yeah. like tell her all about carol bassett or something Lauren was like oh how funny would that be to have a doormat that just says hello to everyone except that be carol baskin yes and i was like Oh my gosh, we're onto something. And then we went back and forth on like, should, maybe it should say welcome to everyone except that. You know, so we were like right. going back and forth, back and forth, and we ended up being welcome to everyone except that be girl and said the real word. Bitch. But, yeah. yeah. <laughs> I, except that, I think you can say that on this podcast. Yeah, you can. Yeah. Except that Mary's yeah. girl Baskin. And I'm telling you, it took off. I mean, we were having, selling 50 a day yeah. awesome. of that one doormat. Which, by the way, that's another thing. We come up with our own designs to list to give people ideas. And I can tell you, there's no better feeling in the world oh. that <laughs> when somebody buys your design and you're like, yes! Alex I'm ordered Alex you. ordered one of those concierge bells yeah, for whenever yeah. like, her, yes. her, 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 her <laughs> design. Mean, yeah. Oh my gosh. I mean, it is, I'm like, yes, I'm the best. That is true. I'm the <laughs> best. <laughs> it's very great. It is gratifying. Yeah. <laughs> like somebody else thought that was cool too but then yeah. there's also some that you put up and haven't sold one i know especially when it's a good idea too you're like this is a really good shirt and then you get humbled by 
nobody buying it. And you're like, yeah. yeah. Oh, that yeah. happens more often than the other. Like, yeah. We come up with design. I mean, not, I, not I, not I wouldn't me. say, yeah. yeah. <laughs> like, speak for yourself. <laughs> oh, okay. <laughs> I would uh, sometimes, I'll come up with one where I'm like, this is incredible. Actually, I don't do a ton of the design, but whenever I do, I'm like, this is amazing. And I'm like, hey, I, that design I listed a year ago, have we sold any of those? <laughs> I'm like, which one? <laughs> what? Wow. I've never oh, the one, I oh, the one on page 47. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. I took yeah. that one off the website yeah. a long yeah. time ago. Yeah. Like at least a year and a half. Yeah. It's only been up for a year and a half. Oh, okay. Oh, uh, yeah. Whoops. Well, I guess we can delete it now then. <laughs> delete it alert. Yeah. Yeah. No, that's awesome. I, uh, well, if there's nothing else we can say to support y'all, anything else y'all need, man, all, all I can say is thank y'all for being here and sharing your story with us. Yeah, been a great thank conversation. You. Thank yeah, thanks for having us. Blast. Yeah. The, uh, and thanks for coming to Maker and Doormat. You're not gonna. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, you're not gonna have this. I'm gonna. Yeah. Put I'm you, gonna do it. I'm gonna go. <laughs> I'm gonna put yeah. you to work for for the whole day. I think. <laughs> we'll, <laughs> we'll let you. I'm like, we'll do the next one. We'll <laughs> let you uh, skip the dirty parts. They're all dirty. No, everything's no. dirty. He's not skipping anything. Oh, okay. You're doing yeah. the whole process. Look, it'll be great content for beefy. Great content yeah. for the beef. Uh, it'll well it'll then bring bring your work clothes then. Well, so yeah, I think it'll be it'll be fun. Yeah. As long as I can have beer while I'm there. No. Nope. Oh, we keep the fridge shop. Then there we go. Times. Totally yeah. acceptable. Oh, yeah. Awesome. Well, thank you listeners and viewers for tuning in to another episode of the Beef Podcast. I hope you all enjoyed this. It was a really good conversation. If you're not going over to Doormat Decor and getting an awesome doormat for your front door, then you're missing out. So definitely need to do that. And uh, yeah, just thank you for supporting these businesses every single week by listening on Thursday, anywhere you get your podcast to the Beef Podcast. After that, I guess all we can say is Cheers. stay beefy, my friends. Yeah, stay yeah. beefy, my, my friends. friends. There we go. <laughs> You've been listening to the Beef. Thanks for listening. Make sure to like, rate, and review. We hope you've gotten some useful and practical information that you can use. And we'll be back soon. But in the meantime, follow us on social media. Hit us up on Facebook, Instagram, and YouTube at Beefy Marketing. Would you like your business featured on The Beef? Know a business that should be featured? Visit beefymarketing.com slash the beef. Remember, branding is about a connection with you and your people. Till next time. Next time.